Uh, I hope I oh, hope I can be heard. Loud and clear, kindly proceed. All right. Thank you so much for the chance. And uh, let me concur with uh, what Dr. Miguna Miguna said, that uh, in this struggle, uh, some of us or most of us or might not come back alive. We have to be alive to that fact that um, this is a change of a whole system that has been there since 1963. So we have to be ready for that. We have to have it at the back of our heads that what, whatever we are doing, we have to re be ready to pay the price with our lives, that we have to drain this swamp for the sake of our kids. And I also concur with what uh, Professor said. Let us try not to come up with an uh, alternative of the guys who've always been there. You can feel that uh, guys are trying to say, oh, this is an alternative. Because what has been the biggest problem is people punishing. Because you find that uh, people are now trying to rally that uh, we punish Ruto, we punish Ruto, we punish, punish, punish. I think that has been the biggest problem, and I hope that we cannot get into that space. And that is why in my small spaces I'm doing uh, civic education. I try and go to the ground, to the matatus, and tell people and contextualize. Eh? I always buy a gazette every other day. And this whole month has been about shift. And I tell them, in case one of you gets cancer, in case one of you gets this thing, if you go to the hospital, I ask them, how many of you have been visited the hospital? And if we can be able to get it to the ground, then it's going to help and contextualize it to the ground. It's going to help bringing it home to the people. And then I think one of the other biggest problem is uh, the guys who are working, the middle class. Then they live like in an island. Eh? They were given share. They were given uh, housing. Then they, then they react. They feel as if things are just okay. If we can also be able to, because we might be thinking that the biggest problem is how what to kwa ground the one inch, but we have a bigger problem than how these guys who are the middle class. These guys were in the white collar employment. Them, it's like they are comfortable with the way things are moving. None of them wants to risk for their lives. None of them wants to risk for their jobs. None of them, they are comfortable. So I think we also need to target them. How can we make most of them be bold? And lastly, the constitution. I'm a law student, I'm currently studying law, and I feel that it's been a very tragic week. Let's not give up on the constitution. It's a very good document. And as uh, Dr. Ria said, Article 1, all sovereign power belongs to the people. And Article 76, it says that leaders are not given the power to rule. Actually, it's the constitution that says they are not given power to rule, but to govern us. They are not given powers to rule us. We are not, it's not, it's not a monarch to be ruled. And I hope that we can all do our small things in our small spaces. Mimi nikifanya hii ukukwa matatu, mwingina nafanya hii. And let's be patriotic. Let patriotism lead us. Let, uh, yesterday I visited the Langata cemetery. And regardless of the money that we'll have, power that we'll have, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because Tutaziko kwa yo six by six. But the impact that we hold to our people, the differences that we make to our people, let us not be afraid. Let us be rigorous. Let us uh, be patriotic and we can be able to manage to do this thing. Viva, viva, viva. Grandson of Momo Wakili. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for your contribution. Let's go to um, Festus, Moses, then Ma Mao Sound Farah in that order, three minutes each as we wind up. We are finishing at the top of the hour. Festus, can you hear me? Mukavana? Okay, then I'll go to uh, Moses Kagaru. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Loud and yes. clear, please proceed. Can you hear me? Yes. Please proceed. Yes. Very good. Um, my name is Moses. Uh, mine is, uh, I have been thinking about the executive that it has been uh, rotten. I've also been thinking about uh, <laughs> rotten. But when we came to the judiciary on the ruling that they made, that is where I got lost. And that's what I would want to ask uh, Professor Kibuta Kibwana and Dr. Miguna Miguna. My heart is very aching because when the last judge started looking at the issue of uh, whether to leave to those orders, I found it like when he had gone in a very good trajectory, but when it came to the interpretation of public interest, 
that is the, uh, something I would want us to understand exactly. Where da, why is it that we have so many different interpretations of public interest? This is an office that uh, goes through election. Why would want, someone want uh, someone who is appointed rather than the one elected not to go through that kind of uh, uh, being checked by the various organs before taking that particular office? It really dawned on me that uh, we thought that the judiciary is on our side. We have been lost completely. And I would like us to understand exactly. Everybody should understand the constitution. We should carry the document. Myself, I'm not a lawyer, but I carry my constitution. As they open every chapter, I open mine. And that is the reason why I've been able to learn to understand some of these concepts that are in the, in the in the constitution, those articles, article I think 23, I think 25, which was the one that talked about fundamental rights. It says that despite any other provisions to this constitution, any other thing that has been said by this constitution, that when the right to a fair hearing knocks your door, the, everything has to stand still, everything has to go to wait, everything has to go to actually freeze so that the right can be accorded to you. I really did not understand. And Professor Kibuza Kibwana, maybe that is something that is bothering me, I want to understand. And as far as fighting as Kenyans, democracy is not the best government, uh, the best uh, way of governing ourselves, but we don't have an option. But anyway, we will have to look for people. Dr. Miguna Miguna, he ha you people have to really tell us this is the direction. Because if we fail in this uh, kind of thing that we are we are talking about, then the then then the elections will come. And those elections we must be able to pick and say this is the direction we are going. If we, if other 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 things do not come here in between. I don't want to say much. I want to thank you, Madik. I'm very glad I'm grateful. Thank you so much, Mofrin. Thank you so much, Mo. Uh, I'm trying to now just ensure that we really, really have uh, people ask those questions. Um, no, take three minutes, minutes each, and then we have the last 30 minutes of really just closing and, uh, you know, making their discussion robust. Um, Mausa, uh, Daniel, then Farah in that order. Mausa, can you hear me? Then let's go to uh, Daniel, then Farah. If you can't hear, I will drop you and pick other people because there are others are also waiting. Okay, anyone in the space who can in the speaker panel who can hear, uh, can yeah yeah I can take hear. a go take a go Farah three minutes. Okay, thank you. Um, I'd like to talk about three things. First is uh to try and uh give a perspective, my own perspective, as to what is happening in the country. Um, I think we have global uh, interests, and that is one thing, and that should be considered at, and studied uh, at the same time, because it's very clear, according to the bills that are being passed, that some of them are being pushed from outside the country. And uh, the other thing, what are the, the interests that I personally view with what the president and those around him do, are doing. For instance, his uh, children going into the Matatu sector, it's, and the changing of the NHIF into Shah and uh, trying to sell off of the uh, aviation sector and uh, maybe the port and all the railway system as well. I think it's trying to change uh, every system that of trans where people transact money. So that any time you transact money, whether you're going, you're using transportation or buying medication or anywhere you need to use money, some of it goes to them, and uh, it plays a, it plays along the glo globalist agenda as well. Um, 